Okay, for something a little bit different on my channel. Um, I'm just going to get right into this. This is going to be a short uh, video, and we'll just get right to the point. I've always wanted to change my desk uh, top icon for my hard drives, because I have a few hard drives hooked up to my computer. I wanted to be able to visually distinguish between which hard drive was which. Yeah, I can do a name underneath. I know that but I wanted something that was quick and easy and customizable. I mean, you could jazz up your desktop the way you want it. Anyway, uh, let's just get right into it. So there's my desktop icon for my Lacey 3 terabyte drive. I'm going to open Affinity Designer. And you can use whatever program works for you or whatever one you have on hand. Now, what I'm going to do here is open a new project. And I picked Social Media Square Post. I don't know if I, I'm assuming you can pick any one of these, but this is the one I picked. Now, the important part of this project is up here. Now, the file for a hard drive icon needs to be 512 pixels by 512 pixels. Um, okay, I have it set the pixels already. And you also need it to be 300 DPI. So again, it has to be 512 by 512 pixels and 300 DPI. Uh, orientation, you can vertical, horizontal, whatever you, you want. And I'm going to set the background transparent. So I click that. There we go. Now here's the project, 512 by 512, 300 DPI. So you can just start doing stuff. Um, do that. Let's fill it with, I don't know, red. Uh, let's do it again. Change it up a bit. Let's take this one, do that, and we'll make the opacity. I'm just doing something just to get something in quick. This doesn't have to be. Don't want to do that. But we will change the color. Do that. And here we go. Okay, that's enough. You get the idea. Okay, so we got that. Now what you want to do, export this, save it as a PNG file. Doesn't have to be anything special. I'll call this icon one. And we'll save. Now I'm also going to show you. We can also, you can use pictures for this. Let's open a new one. Again, I'm going with the same settings. 512 pixels by 512 pixels, 300 DPI. I'm going to create it. Now I'm going to go here and I'm going to drag a picture into Affinity. And I just put a picture up on my desktop. This one's of a tree that I took when I was on a winter camp last winter. I'm going to open it and I'm just going to drop it. Now, obviously, I need to reduce the size of it. So let's just reduce it. I'll just make this bigger now so we can see it. So there, I've got the picture on the project. So now I'm just going to go up and I'm going to export this. And the same thing, I'm exporting it 512 by 512. It's exported as a PNG and everything else doesn't matter. And then just hit export. Where 
it's going to go to the desktop and I'm going to go icon to show you. Okay, so now I can close this down. I'll just close this. I'm not going to save it. There you go. Okay, so here's my two PNG files. Now you can't drag these onto this to change it. You still have to convert this into an ICNS file. And that's Apple's filing for hard drive icons. So what you need to do, we'll start with this one, open it with preview. So it'll come up in preview. Now this is your icon. Go to file and you can't click save. What you have to do on your keyboard is hold down option and save as comes up. Now you click on save as and you get this. And there is ICNS. So now you want to save that picture or that icon as an ICNS. Click on ICNS, save, and it appears over here. Now, I'll do the same with this PNG file. Open it in preview. So there you have it. And again, go up to file and watch up here. I'm going to hit the option button, save as, click on it. ICNS is already there because I chose it last time. So ICNS, you click on ICNS, save and it appears over here. Now we can close that down. Now these two are the old PNG files, so I'm just going to put those there. Now these are the, uh, this is the icon we created, and this is the picture icon. Now all you have to do is go into the Lacey and go get info. So now you have your info about your hard drive. Now what you do is you take your icon and just drag it right here. And there you go. That's your hard drive now. Now if you want to revert it back, you just command Z. There you go. Then you can take the picture icon we made, drag it. There it is. And that's the easiest way I found to do this. Uh, sure, you could get some of the free Icon Builder programs, or you could buy one of the programs, or you could even buy some of the Icon packages, but there's really no need. Uh, just use any uh, design editor that can save a PNG file, and uh, use the preview, convert it to ICNS, and you can make the icons for anything. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was of uh, some use to somebody. And if you if there's an easier way than this, put it down in the comments for me and I'll try it out. But this was what I came up with. It works for me. And yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And you guys have good holidays and all the best to you and yours.